Hi everyone and welcome back to some more Civilization 5. So, I think it's time to declare war on Monty soon. But before we do that, I'd like to bring over our second anti-aircraft gun, because we only got two right now, and one of them is already here. And we will most certainly need them. So, that's just one extra turn. And we can grab a few more units, it certainly won't hurt. Yep, sure, infantry. And I think we had a machine gun with plus one range. This guy. No. Pretty sure one of them had it. Maybe not. This guy has firing doctrine, which is pretty nice. Right. We can get that one. Oh yeah, this one has plus one range, right. So let's uh, lift him. Up here is fine. We have so many units around here. Alright, this is fine for now. Also, we got a vote coming up. That's going to be an important one. It will give us a chance to pass the word religion. But I also need to avoid getting sanctioned. We'll see what we can do about that. So, let's take a look. What's the event? Negative event. Why am I not surprised? So, we can pretty much ignore the Aztecs 10 votes, because they will vote to repeal their sanctions. I'm actually going to let them repeal the sanctions. Because that way they won't interfere with our vote. So what we can do is use, let's say, 8 votes to prevent sanctions on us. And then the remaining votes for the world religion. Shaka has 5 votes. Carthage has 3. I don't think Attila cares about us. And Assyria is on my side. So this should work quite nicely. Alright, let's do it like this. So. Now we can airlift. First, let's get some repairs done. We can repair that citadel. Not that we really need it all that much, but might as well keep it. And coal. Here you go. And then we can airlift. So, off you go. Alright then, and we are still working on the railroad over here. That will give us a production bonus to all these cities in the area. I definitely want that. Here you go. Alright then. So now the question is, how much longer do we want to wait? I would prefer to not wait at all. We are almost ready to declare war. Four turns to finish the mine. Well, I can just protect that guy with one of my units. Oh nice, our border expanded to the aluminum. I will certainly take that. So, I think that's that. Let's see what the outcome of the vote is going to be. I'm quite curious. The Aztecs have a lot of paratroopers. That will be the most annoying part once we go to war. They repealed the sanctions, but we knew that's going to happen. Sanctions on us didn't pass, and the world religion passed. Nice. We now have 526 tourism. Very nice. And now we need to repeal the travel ban. Because we can't have that if we want to win the culture victory. So there you go. Repeal the travel ban. And it's almost time to declare that war, I think. Let's send the diplomat to Buenos Aires to make sure it stays on our side. And where do we want the anti-aircraft gun? Well, somewhere over here, I suppose. We don't have fighters, so I'm not too worried about that. And I'm going to protect that worker with a paratrooper, just to avoid any funny business. Do we still need any unit upgrades in the area? I don't think so, but we still have a few riflemen. However, I'm also losing around 100 gold per turn. Meaning, upgrading units might not be the best idea right now. We do have a stock exchange or two coming up in the, a few turns. So we should be fine. But keep in mind, this is with the Golden Age active. So yeah, our economy is not in the best shape right now. Let's not spend too much gold. 
But look at all the city-states we are allied with, that's amazing. Just need to keep an eye on these two. Baby bomb! Oh nice, we already had one. That's plus one population in every single city. And we love the king day for five days. In every single city, that is amazing. That almost makes up for all the negative events we've been spammed with. Almost. That is a lot of plus ones. <laughs> okay, that is so good. Now, Diplomat. First, this guy to Buenos Aires. And the other one. I don't think it matters too much. We got a quest for a trader out here. Okay, we got a quest to spread our religion. And a quest to build the Prora, which we are doing right now. And a quest to improve the archaeological side. So where do we send you? It doesn't really matter that much. This one is fine. Off you go. And another fighter, nice one. Interception 1, Interception 2, and plus 1 Interception. A Reaper can wait. Move over. And a few more railroads, then we'll get our production bonus. Looking forward to it. As for the caravan, any city-state we can send it to. We can get that quest done if we want to. That's 18 gold, 18 science, 24 culture per turn. We won't spread the franchise, but that is fine. As an alternative, we can go to Panormos, for example. That's a possibility. I think I'd rather get that quest done. And we need the gold, so this trade route is worth more. Okay, sure. We will get a great scientist in six turns. That is quite nice. That will speed up atomic theory. Alright then. So, fighter is done in Rio. What else can we get in Rio? Firaxite office, obviously. Alright then. Do you want to airlift any more units? I think we're fine for now. But let's keep them next to cities so that we can airlift them anytime we want. I like that idea. So you will go down here. They just need to be next to a city. Then we can airlift them anytime we want to. Right here. And over here. Alright. A few more. We got a tank. We got another tank. Yeah, we got quite a few tanks. Let's grab at least one of them. Here you go. That's fine. You can go west. Here, looking good. That will do. Alright then. Anything else to move? Not that I can see. Oh nice, another franchise spread. How many franchises do we have now? Four. But we got a few more coming up in a few turns. Mostly in city-states. But hey, it all counts. The more we have, the more science we'll get from the officers. We just finished the quest from the looks of it. Alright then. Well, that's good to see. And pestilence. Yeah, alright. Whatever. Up to 33 population in Rio. What do we need in Rio? I think we should just get... Oh, nice! We can build a mausoleum now. Yep, we will definitely do that. It will give us additional delegate. So, that's nice. Alright then. And it will only take two turns. Carry on. Any more railroads around here? Uh, one more, here. Also, once we declare war on Monty, we'll be able to use the Great Musician. To tourism bomb him. That's one of the reasons I want to go to war. Not the only one, of course. Here's Stock Exchange. We can grab a caravanzari, that's only one turn. And Opera House, I suppose that's fine. Next up... That's an Opera House. A museum, perhaps? Maybe work at that train station. 
Yeah, we were working some really poor tiles around here. Let's assign a few more specialists. Uh, yeah, hold on a moment. This city doesn't need production all that much. Let's keep these guys on science. Although, we will get a great engineer in here. Let's maybe get that guy. Here. Nope, starvation. Not enough food around the city. How's this? 54 turns? That's a little bit too much. But I would have to send a trade route with food. Or we can grab one of these farms. Doesn't look like the neighboring city is working them, no. Okay, let's take over the farms. So there you go. And then we can assign more engineers. Here, that works. Alright, good enough. And what about production? I don't think we want agribusiness in here. Not really, we could get a zero. Sure, let's get a few more. That definitely won't hurt. As for you, yeah, we still need a lot of repairs. Let's work on those. And I think it's time to declare war. We waited long enough. Rebase. Yep, I think we should go to war now. 130 city combat strength. Yeah, that's a lot. Our goal is to capture the former French cities. Because they have chateaus and I want those. Alright, let's just go to war. Can we convince someone to go to war with us? Uh, like maybe Shaka? Probably not. I can see he's at war with Carthage. Oh yeah, we can't. They have a peace treaty. Well, alright then. We need to watch out for Shaka. But, I mean, we have plenty of defenses. So I'm not too worried about that. Even if he declares war on us, we'll be able to defend ourselves just fine. Let's declare war. Oh, he has a defensive pact with Carthage. I don't think we care about that. No, we really do not. In fact, we could use that as an excuse to take Karakorum. I don't see why not. But let's bring some more artillery if we are going to do that. We got some around here. Yep. There's one. We can just airlift that. That is exactly what we're going to do. Okay. I don't want to be too close, but at the same time, we need to be close enough to be in range. Obviously. So like this. And then airlift directly into the city. That works. This guy is also fine. He doesn't even need an airlift, but there we go. And one more. Yep, one more. Might as well. It's not like he will have anything better to do. There you go. And anything else? Maybe a machine gun to Otike, just in case some ships attack it. They do have a few cruisers in the area. This looks good enough to me. We can always airlift more units instantly. We have an airport in every single city. We do have a great general in there. Alright, let's do this. Alright, let's do it. Should be fun. So. Let's get started. First, we'll have to kill all these units. Well, first, let's use the tourist bomb, shall we? Yes, let's. Oh wait, we can't do it, why not? Unit must be in a tile owned by another major civilization. Oh right, we can't be at war. Okay, that complicates things a little bit. We might be better off creating a great work. Is that a Vox Populi thing? That we can't use them at war? Alright, let's just create a great work. Here, more tourism. 531. Let's get started. 
Now, how do we want to start? There's a lot to do. Look at all these bonuses. I want to know where that plus 50% defense bonus is coming from. Because I'm not quite sure what that's the result of. It is a little bit annoying, though. Well, in any case, let's put our artillery to good use, shall we? Yes, let's. Yeah, look at all these modifiers. That's a lot of modifiers. 102, final strength. But he is in negative happiness. That's a good thing. From our point of view. Okay, now we can use... Air sweep. Okay, no resistance. And then use the bombers. Here, there you go. One down. How much more damage can we do? Good question. We don't have logistics on the artillery, so... Right here. This guy will be slightly out of range. We can still use it from this style over here. Yep, perfect. Let's maybe get rid of that destroyer. Not that he's a big threat, but he will attack the cruisers. And I don't want him over here. For obvious reasons. There, that will do. And we can use the bomber. Or the fighter. Bomber will do just fine. So, what about Paris? That is a lot of units around here. It will take a while to get rid of all of them. We better get started. Yeah, I need to be careful. Oh yeah, the machine gun has plus one range. That will come in handy right about now. There you go. And finish him off with artillery, I think. Well, not quite. I can finish him off with infantry, that might be a little bit better. But this is a lot of units. We can do it with a tank and then back up one tile. Or even more than one tile. Also pillage the coal and then go back into our territory. Yep. Block the way with infantry so that they won't be able to reach artillery. And like this. Anti-aircraft gun a bit closer. Artillery here. I assume he will move closer on the next turn because he pretty much has to. You guys up here? There. Alright, that looks fine. We let him make the move. And what else can we do? We still got more artillery but limited space. I would say so, yeah. Alright. Oh, and we got the Panzer. Looking forward to using that guy. Let's keep him on top of the railroad for now. We got the generals in both areas. Yep, we got the generals everywhere. In fact, I could use one for a citadel right about now. If I wanted one. Okay, let's see. We can still move around a little. How about we move that infantry out of the way and move in with the artillery? Like so. Yep, that works for me. And attack the paratrooper. I wonder what exactly he's going to do with the paratroopers. I'm actually quite curious about that. Here, that looks fine. Let's play it safe for now. Carthage stole research from Brasilia. That's not very nice. 1000 research? 1,000 research is nothing. I don't really care about that. Now, what about Carthage? We need to wait one turn before we really make our move. But we can send a few more units. I mean, it's not like they have anything better to do. Most certainly not. Here you go. Alright then. We still got one artillery. We could attack Panormos. It has a wonder I would like to get. That's probably a better city to attack, in fact. But we'll need more than just one artillery to take that one. I'll have to think about it. Let's see what exactly they are going to do first. 
We can always take Karakorum and then move to Panormos or something like that. This will be pretty long turns, I can tell you as much. Yeah, look at all this combat spam. That is a lot of combat spam. Yep, he is definitely making a move. As you might expect. Influence shift. Our culture is no longer popular to Shaka. Alright then. Interesting. Here's Shaka. It's actually falling. Well then, we need to repeal that travel ban. That's the minus 35% penalty. Okay then, we are working on that. The vote is coming up in 12 turns. Anyway, first let's grab the promotion. I will take cover. Because not having at least cover one is pretty bad. So, you can back up. We will probably lose a unit or two during this war. I'll try to avoid that, but it will be tough to avoid that entirely. Let's see, where's that paratrooper? Right here. We also have a full health infantry. So, move him in as a replacement. And before we capture any city, we'll have to take care of all these units. And I assume he's going to build more. As we continue fighting, it's not going to be an easy war. Okay, that will do. And we can take him out. Might be a bit of a waste of damage, actually. How about we use a fighter for that? That will be just fine. And then the machine gun against the other tank. Like this. And then the bombers. I don't think there's any resistance. But we can double check with Earth Sweep. No resistance. Alright then. So, deploy the bombers. We got a few more down here. I don't think we need an Earth Sweep down here. Probably not, no. We can also use the fighters, although we're better off keeping them on intercept. Finish off this guy. Nice one. Now, what are the cruisers going to do? For now, they will help against ground units. Because that just makes sense. There you go. They will do a lot of damage, too. And he can't really counter them. Now that we destroyed the destroyer. So... We could actually maybe move in with a great general here and build a citadel. That would be an interesting move. We would get a railroad leading all the way to the city. I like that idea, actually. The infantry should be able to take the damage, but he doesn't have cover. This guy has cover, though. We can move in with this guy. Alright, let's give that a shot. It should work. It is slightly risky, but it should be fine. And we can still do some damage before this turn ends. So first, let's use a fighter against the light tank. The other fighter will stay on intercept. And then the bombers. Well, first... Let's see... Yeah, this could get interesting, certainly. We could swap infantry and machine gun, but then the machine gun won't be able to do the damage. So, I'll pass on that. Okay. Kill this dude. Oh wait, he's not dead, really? Well, isn't that annoying? I can't really kill him with my infantry because then we'll be stuck next to a citadel. I guess that means we need to use the bomber. Alright, not too happy about that. But it will do. We'll get a lot of fight from this war. One of the benefits, definitely. So, how about we spread our own religion some more? Not a bad idea. We are going to need... Oh, we still need a missionary. For Vilnius. From the looks of it. Interesting. Well, alright. Not just for Vilnius. Yeah, this one needs an Inquisitor, actually. In any case... Did the cities flip back? This one certainly did. Alright, I'm just checking. Yeah, we need a few Inquisitors. Definitely. 
Alright, an Inquisitor. And a Missionary. And Inquisitor. Two Inquisitors and a Missionary. That should be fine. Now, back to our war. Let's see. What do we kill first? Probably this fella. Because then we can use the tank to finish him off. And maybe also infantry. We can attack with infantry first to do some damage, because I don't actually want to move into that tile with infantry. But we can do some damage, like this. Then use the bomber. And the other bomber and finish the job with a tank. That works. Then pillage the tile and back up again. Looking good. And then maybe attack the Grela. I'm not sure what special abilities that guy has. But I'm not sure if I want to stick around to find out. Oh, we want to do a whole lot of damage to this guy. Yeah, plus 100% terrain modifier. Right, let's maybe not attack him. That would be a slight waste of firepower right now. We can take out the light tank. Like this. Yeah, our infantry should be more than safe. I'm not worried about that. Not at all. Keep a general in the middle. We can get the heck out of here. And we can still do some damage. We can actually hit the city. I don't see why not. I don't really have any other target. And I can still hit the city. Or the paratrooper. Let's hit the paratrooper. And we still got a lot more artillery in the northwest. So. I'm thinking the light tank first. Like this. Then the machine gun. I don't think we'll take out either, but that's okay. This will do. Let's play it safe. Alright, and what about Karakorum? I still want it, but we got some cruisers moving in. Yeah, we might want to move around a little bit. I wouldn't want to lose artillery, obviously. So... Let's move this guy into the city. Just like that. And let's see if we can take out a cruiser. We should be able to. Yes, nice one. One down. And we can pillage some tiles. Might as well do that. Plus 103 gold. Not bad. Not bad at all. And move in with the machine gun. It might get a chance to do some damage on the next turn. More tiles to repair. We should actually connect this area with a railroad. Yes, the cities are already connected to our trade network. But this is mostly for troop movements. Yeah, let's get it done. Won't take too long, it's fine. And you? This should actually be a quarry, not a farm. So let's grab a quarry. Now about Panormos. Oh, Shaka is actually attacking Panormos. That is very interesting indeed. I'm not going to let him have it. Let's see if we can take it ourselves. We might be able to, we might be able to snipe the city. But we'll need some good timing for that. We'll see. Uh, upgrade this guy. And bring the infantry. Maybe we should bring some bombers. But the only bombers we have are close to Monty. They are all next to Monty. We'll just need good timing to take Panormos. I don't want Shaka to have it, that's for sure. Any more quests for trade routes? Not that I can see. Where do we go? We could go to a city-state, that's certainly a possibility. Valenta. We can use an internal trade route. I don't think we need that. What's the most gold we can get? Plus 23 gold, plus 24 culture, plus 18 science. That is fine. We can do that. And the other one. Yep, city state trade route is fine. We are not losing gold anymore. How many franchises is that? We are up to six franchises. Nice. And we are about to get a zero in Asur. So, I think our turn is done. 
Unless we want a few more upgrades. I would like more units near Panormals. But I don't know about this. I don't think we can get many more. Do we have any idle artillery anywhere? I don't think we do. Alright. We'll see. We might be able to do it. But it is going to be a little bit tricky. Especially since there's only one single tile we can attack Panormals from. So I can't really put a light tank in there, we need a proper tank. Now we can add a reformation belief, because we finished our building, our special building. Which one do we even want in here? Global commandments, plus 10 science, culture, gold, faith and golden age points per turn while the host of the World Congress. Receive 150 of these yields instantly when you pass a proposal. Bonuses scale with error. Well, we are pretty much granted to stay the host. Jesuit education, we don't need that anymore, although it would give us more science. Knowledge for devotion. Landmarks and great personal improvements produce plus for faith and science. Great works produce plus to culture and he can purchase archaeologists with faith. That one wouldn't be too bad, actually. We have a lot of landmarks and great personal improvements. So that would be quite a bit of faith and science. Next, one word, one religion. Receive one additional delegate in the World Congress for every eight city-states in the game. Missionaries performing the spread religion action erode existing pressure from other religions. Hotels and all buildings purchased with faith provide plus three tourism each. Okay, it's obvious what we're going for. Sacred sites. Because the plan is to win culture victories, so... More tourism. We are already up to 813. And this will give us even more. Okay then, yeah, this is a no-brainer. Certainly. Not to mention we'll also get tourism from world wonders and natural wonders. Let's see how much this is going to be worth. Yep, we are up to 935. Very nice. Now, the missionary and inquisitor. First, this city, because it's quite a bit out of the way. And I wanted to have my religion. There we go. 20 followers, so that will do for a while. And then we can airlift. Which city should be first? Well, I guess we can decide on the next turn. But actually, this is going to be the end of this episode. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did or a dislike if you didn't. And I'll see you next time. Bye bye.